The small intestinal cells also include brush border enzymes which can digest disaccharides. So the enzyme maltase can digest the disaccharide maltose. The enzyme sucrase can digest the disaccharide sucrose. The enzyme lactase can digest the disaccharide lactose. And so all of the smaller carbohydrates can then be separated into monosaccharides in the small intestine. Once starch, dextrins, and the various disaccharides have been converted to the monosaccharides, glucose, fructose, and galactose, these monosaccharides can then be absorbed into the cells of the small intestine. Glucose and galactose enter intestinal cells through secondary active transport, a symport with sodium, in a process in which sodium ions are allowed to enter the intestinal cells if glucose or galactose accompany them. The monosaccharide fructose can enter through facilitated diffusion. Once these monosaccharides enter the intestinal cells, they pass through facilitated diffusion through the basolateral membrane of these intestinal cells and enter the blood capillaries.